Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, of course coming up this fall 25H2 and 25H2 we have a little more details of exactly what it will have and how big it's going to be as an update to download and you'll be surprised that 25H2 will be a very small one megabyte file not gigabyte you've heard it megabyte and the reason is it the 25 h2 when it arrives will not have the new features the new features are already on your pc at that point but they are just turned off and so that one megabyte file when it arrives will of course turn on everything that it has to turn on as new features uh, one of them of course right now we have the good old start menu, which hasn't changed much since the beginning of Windows 11. Well, 25H2 will change that to a uh, better, or hopefully much better, um, start menu with, you know, grids and uh, more um, space for, you know, categories and all sorts of things. Uh, it will also have the new features where it throttles the CPU depending on the usage of your PC, so you'll be able to um, have a PC that consumes less power when you don't use it for a certain amount of time, uh, and all sorts of other little uh, details that we'll be uh, talking about as we get close to the uh, update. So once this appears, and we probably we think it's going to happen in October, pretty much at the same time as end of support for Windows 10. Um, all you'll have to do is go into your Windows updates and that little download will actually just restart your PC, activate everything, and uh, you'll be at 25 H2 when you look at your Windows version. And also Microsoft wanted to point out that, you know, there's been a lot of complaint of 24 H2 uh, over time. It's getting better now and 24H2 had a lot of little issues here and there that people weren't happy about. So what they're saying is that also by having just a little update that turns on features and nothing more, it will help 25H2 be much more stable and much better than 24H2, kind of almost in admitting that 24H2 was a little bit of a disaster for some. Uh, not everybody, not everybody had problems, but you know, it, it, it created all sorts of little things, including the file explorer that was unresponsive for some or was uh, really um, just not working right. So I think it's good news. I think Microsoft is just focusing on let's, uh, let's make sure things work as good as possible on 25H2. And like I said, very small download that will enable all the features. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.